So I've got here a bowl of lentils which I've soaked overnight. Um, you don't have to soak it overnight, you can just let it soak about a couple of hours. But I leave it overnight. So what I'm going to do now is going to rinse the water out of this and then I'm going to blend it so it all goes mushy. So this is how it looks after I used my blender. I've used about five cups of lentils here. So it, it does make a large portion of um, dilabora here. So if you're using, if you want less, obviously use less the quantity I'm using. Now I'm going to chop one medium sized onion and either I'm going to chop them very finely or I'm going to use my blender. Right, so I've used, I've decided to use the knife instead of the blender. So I'm just going to finely chop this off. Well, that's not very good, is it? Let me get another one. It's much prettier. So, just as small pieces as you can. So I'm not using all the onion, I'm just going to leave a small piece behind. I'm just going to add this to the lentils. And then I'm going to start chopping my chilli. Again, it's up to you how much you want to use. I'm going to be using fresh chili and a bit of chili powder as well so again as tiny as you can chop them up or you can blend it up with the onions Now I'm going to wash my hands. Get a handful of coriander. Chop them up. Add them in. We don't need the chopping board anymore. And I'm just going to add the spices now. Got here salt. Um, it's a large amount. I'm going to use two teaspoons for the time being. I'll taste some if I need more. I'll add some if I need more, I mean. And the only powder I'm going to use is the holy powder. And I'm going to use two teaspoons of that. And then I'm just going to mix everything together. Oh yeah, I forgot an ingredient. You're going to use plain flour or basin flour that's ground flour if you haven't got any ground flour in your house then i'd use a bit of plain flour and a bit of rice flour for that crunch but i'll mix everything together first so everything gets mixed together properly Right, you don't need a lot of ground flour here, you just need them to bind the mixture together. So say like two 
tablespoons. And I normally, what I do, I just fry one pakora first to see if there's enough salt. And if there is it, then obviously add some more. Some people actually taste it here at this stage as well. I know it's raw, but it's not the end of the world just tasting a bit of it. At least you'll know if it's got enough salt or not. Okay, I did say I'm going to add some chilli powder, but I'm just going to use chilli flakes instead. And that's your mixture ready so go ahead and heat some oil and start frying so like I said I'm only going to fry one and see how they taste if it needs enough salt There we are. See how crunchy it is? It's fully cooked inside as well. Right, it tastes delicious. It just needs half a teaspoon extra of salt, I think. So let me add half a teaspoon of salt and then I'll start frying them all. So it's up to you how big you want it, but I think the smaller they are, the cuter they are. 